Well, good day everyone. Another hot afternoon here in South Florida. Yesterday we had a lot of clouds around and that helped to keep us on the cooler side finally with temperatures in the upper 80s. But today we're back into the lower 90s, feeling even warmer with the humidity. Plus we'll be tracking some afternoon storms. Lots of tropical moisture sitting on top of us. Alright, so here's a live look outside. There's the lighthouse if you're going boating. Sees today about a foot or less. Once again, we do have a heat advisory in effect for Palm Beach County. Heat, the humidity, the combination will make it feel like 105 to 110 as we head into the afternoon hours. We're at 90 currently in Boca, 91 Boynton, 89 into the Palm Beaches, upper 80s into the Treasure Coast. The winds are mainly coming in from the south, but as we head into the next few days, we'll have a southeasterly flow and that will allow the afternoon thunderstorms to move away from the coast and move farther inland. Over the last couple of days, the storms have been going in this direction towards us, but the pattern is going to start to shift. Right now we're dry, but we're seeing some storminess already along the Gulf Coast. And as the day goes on, all of it's going to start to fill on in. So we do have a good chance of seeing those late day storms once again. Now out in the Atlantic, that right there, not very well organized, but that is Tropical Depression Don. Don, in fact, is expected to work its way towards the south, move over slightly warmer waters, could get a little bit stronger, and then eventually curve up into the North Atlantic, staying east of the Canadian Maritimes. And once it's up here, the waters are very cold, and at that point in time, it's expected to just fizzle on out. Today, rain chances on the higher side, likewise as we head into tomorrow. But for Wednesday and Thursday, the storms will start along the 95 corridor and then start to move farther inland and by Friday much drier air moves on in so rain chances really come down as we head towards the end of the week. So Viper cash shows there's the sea breeze developing right there. You can see some showers just west of 95. This is around two o'clock. Then the winds coming in from the south will push those storms up into the Treasure Coast. Now a tropical wave is going to pass just to our south as we head into tomorrow, and that could bring us some stormy conditions very early in the day tomorrow. Then tomorrow afternoon, there goes the sea breeze once again, and then notice towards the evening hours, everything moves well west of us. All right, now if you're going boating, seas today about a foot or less. Inland waters will have a light chop, and there are your high and low tide times for today. First alert, seven day forecast. Temperatures in the low 90s over the next couple of days, but we're drier as we head towards the end of the week and into the weekend. Rain chances about 40%.